Construction continues on the largest solar farm in the Show Me State in Adair County. The nearly $400 million facility is located east of State Highway 3 near Troy Mills and extends south towards the Kirksville Regional Airport. Solar panels will be spread across the 1,100 acres the project covers. According to AES Senior Project Manager Jeff Cole, everything is still right on track with this project. Our substantial completion date is end of March 2025. We did have a few weather delays because of the harsh winter and some rain days, but we're still on track. Each day, more panels are delivered in large cardboard boxes and placed around the project to be installed. During construction, over 340 jobs have been created for this project alone. When the facility is operational, it's expected to create a few full-time positions and be a big tax benefit to the county. There is a uh, approximately an eight to nine million dollar tax revenue that the, that the county will receive over the 25 years to 35 years of the project. In addition to that, Matt, the, this project will create approximately four to five full-time jobs here at Moore Solar. As Cole stated, the facility is expected to be in Adair County for at least 25 years, but plans are in place for it to be here for 35 years. We have a 30 year lease with an option to extend, so 35 years is correct. Um, how will the panels provide electricity to surrounding homes and businesses? The energy we're producing will hit the Zachary substation, which is Ameren's grid. We have an off taker who will actually be, be purchasing this power, but the actual electrons, the actual energy being produced, once it hits the grid, Ameren will decide what to do with it, where it goes, how it gets onto the grid. So in essence, yes, it's likely that this energy will at least somewhat be used locally, but I can't tell you how much. Cole also told me that if the county wants the facility removed, AES has a process to completely remove all its materials from the site. This is a permitted project, so it's unlikely to happen. Now, obviously, when we do decommission this site, uh, we will, of course, come in and remove everything, including the piles in the ground, and everything will be recycled. There have also been some viewers who have been curious on what AES does with any broken panels. The company has a partnership with a Texas company called Solar Cycle that recycles the materials from those panels to have them reused in other renewable energy projects. When asked about this project in the past, the Adair County Commissioners believe that it's good for the county to have multiple sources of power. Another big plus they see from the project is the nearly $9 million of tax revenue coming to the county. A majority of the tax revenue will go to the Kirksville R3 School District. Reporting for KTVO News, I'm Matt Gunn.